Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you all of the great things that I'm getting my kids for Easter this year. All right, if you're new here, hello, I'm Claire. Welcome, come on in, make yourselves comfortable. I am mother to two lovely little boys, Fox, who is five, and Desmond, who is three, but almost four. Um, so I thought I would just share with you guys everything we're doing for Easter this year in case you need some last minute ideas if you're just remembering that it's about to be Easter because it kind of crept up on me, I'm not gonna lie. I did most of my shopping at Target on Amazon and I got one thing from Meyer. If you're from the Midwest, you know what Meyer is, but I'm sure you could get that specific thing other places too. And if you're not shopping for little kids in your life and you're just here because you're curious, uh, welcome to you too. A lot of these things are edible and I feel like Easter candy has no age limit. All right, let's get right into it. The first thing we have is our Easter egg dye. Um, we've been using this brand my whole life. I think it's like the major one, the Paz brand. I feel like everybody uses this one. Anyway, it was like $3 at Target. So um, yeah, you gotta have your egg dye. That's very important. Also at Meyer, I found this game. I thought I was gonna give them this like on Easter, but I think we're gonna do it the day before. It's like this blow up rabbit with these rings and it's like a ring toss game. And just like little things like this, I think are really cool to sort of like build the anticipation, especially cause like Easter for us isn't like a super big deal. Um, but it's like an excuse, especially in these times to create some excitement. Uh, so I thought that this little game would be super cute for us to play like in the days leading up to Easter. All right, as far as eggs go this year, we always um, leave the eggs that we dye out for the Easter Bunny to hide, but I also got these ones this year from Amazon. They were like six dollars um, And I thought it would just be kind of a fun little change up. These uh, came with um, all these eggs and dinosaurs to put inside. So if you have a kid who loves dinosaurs Heck yes um, And plus there are two of each kind and since I have two children who like to fight over everything who have similar interests um, I found that to be really handy too. So we are going to have not only candy and eggs, but we are going to have dinosaurs to hunt. And I know my kids will love it. All right, now these baskets, these are their Easter baskets. I got these like two or three years ago um, from the Target dollar spot and we use them every year. I don't see a need to buy a different basket. Um, I always had one growing up that was like the designated Claire basket and like, it's like a stocking, you know what I mean? You just get the one and that's the one for your childhood. Um, I thought maybe eventually like adding their names somewhere on it. I know people like can do that like with embroidery or with their like Cricut machine, but I digress. These are their Easter baskets. I have decided to fill them with the exact same things because that's how I roll. The first thing I got were just some chocolate eggs. I mean, every Easter basket needs some chocolate eggs and every Easter Bunny might need a treat too, now and then, am I right? I'm just gonna split this bag between the two of the baskets. Also, we have to have a chocolate bunny. Um, that is, without a doubt, a necessity. Um, I just picked the classic Russell Stover ones. My kids are not picky when it comes to chocolate. They do not appreciate, like, a fine Ghirardelli chocolate versus a Russell Stover. So we'll wait on the Ghirardelli and the, the lint and all of the more delicious chocolate until they're old enough to care, but for now they get Russell Stover. I also got them some Peeps. This year I got them bunnies. Um, they love a marshmallow. And well, as I've gotten older, my tastes for Peeps has really um, not grown with me. Uh, my children love a Peep. So, um, now I feel kind of silly that I didn't get the chicks. I got bunnies, but I just thought they were cute. So they're each getting some peeps. Next, I got these at the Target dollar spot. I thought they were too cute not to get. They're bandages, like a band-aid. Adhesive bandages, but they're peep brand. Why does my child need this? They don't, but I'm telling you, the next time one gets a boo-boo, they are gonna be so excited to have a peep Bandage. Next, again at Target, I picked up these sidewalk chalk eggs. I got these last year um, and it was weird because obviously last year was right at the beginning of all the madness during Easter and I had just picked these up 
um, from Target like right before like everything happened and this was like the most Eastery thing we managed to kind of do. So um, this year uh, when I went to pick up my prescription at Target, um, I was like, I gotta get these eggs before they run out, before I don't have another chance. So at only one whopping dollar, I got them some sidewalk chalk eggs. Okay, more candy. Um, in that same, my children love any type of chocolate and marshmallow vein. Today at Meyer, but I'm sure they have them everywhere, I found these Hershey marshmallow eggs. I don't know why I'd never seen these. I always go for the Reese's egg. I don't ever think about looking for like other egg types, um, but these were on sale. If you bought one like Reese's egg, you got a free one of these. So I know the kids will really get down and I just got a pack and we're gonna put like two in each of them. I find that really on Easter, the most important thing is, can you eat it or can you get hours of entertainment out of it? And if it doesn't do either of those things, it doesn't belong in the Easter basket. Of course, we also got the Reese's egg. Please leave me a comment down below if you feel this way too. It's also the Christmas trees, the Reese's Christmas trees I feel this way about too. For some reason, the peanut butter to chocolate ratio in the Reese's that are shapes are so much better. Like why is it better than a Reese's cup? Why? It just is, and I think it's the ratio. So let me know down below, is this something you agree with? Would you prefer an egg over a regular Reese's cup? Are you a shape Reese's person? Discuss. Okay, last edible thing, I promise. This just got me like right at when I was checking out online for my Kroger grocery order. I got some Easter egg brownies by Little Debbie. Um, there are six of them in here, so they'll each get three. They might each get two and then um, mom and dad might each get one as well. Uh, but uh, I just thought they were cute. They're like not that spectacular. We got them for Valentine's Day as well and they're like, they're barely the shape that they're supposed to be. They're more, they're a little pointy for eggs. But um, they were $2 and my kids will love them. All right, in the realm of non-food items, I picked each of them up one of these uh, mystery figure, Ryan's World. You know, your kids, if you're watching me on YouTube, then your kids definitely watch Ryan if they are in this age group. Um, I got them the same thing last year and they both still play with their little tiny Ryan figures. So I got them, this one is series two, so they have all different um, Ryan's that could be inside. Uh, these are like $3.99. I picked these up at Target. Um, so yeah, let's just hope that one of them isn't really good and the other one is really lame. I don't know how they decide this, but anytime they get different things, they decide always that one of them is the best and they fight over it. So hopefully they're the same thing or equally as interesting to each of the boys. I also got some bunny bubbles because like, bubbles are such a no brainer for us. And especially now that my little one Desmond, he's almost four, He's like pretty good at doing the bubble thing on his own because nothing is worse than when a kid just wants you to blow bubbles like forever. Like I think last year we actually bought like a bubble machine because I was so tired of just sitting there blowing bubbles for hours. Like it's tiring. Anyway, it's nice that the kids can blow their own bubbles. So I got them each a bunny bubble. All right, for $1 from the dollar spot at um, Target, I got each of them one of these like ribbon wands like for ribbon dancing, you know what I mean? Uh, both my kids love to dance. We have dance parties basically every day. I'm not sure if these will be like too long for them or if it will get violent quickly. Uh, we'll see. I thought they deserved the chance to ribbon dance if they want to, so uh, we'll see how it goes. I just couldn't say no to this. I had one as a kid, except for my mom got me like a real legit one, you know? Like it was not a $1 one, it was a fancy one. Maybe it was a $1 one and in my head, remembering it as a child, I thought it was really fancy, but still I feel like it was really special and it was something I loved. So maybe my kids are future famous ribbon dancers, only time will tell. Also from the Target dollar spot, I picked them each up a water bottle and it comes with a little sticker inside. I don't know if they'll wanna put the sticker on the outside of this. I think that's like the point. 
but my kids have, you know, ideas of their own. So we'll see what they think. Honestly, I just wanted to find a bigger bottle for them anyway. Um, there are like water bottles are like pretty small and now that they are bigger and more active and we're about to be outside again, I thought, hey, a bigger water bottle wouldn't hurt. Okay, this next thing I'm super excited about. I got them walkie talkies. My kids, I'm so lucky that they get along so well. Um, they're only like 19 months apart in age and they are both really into the same things. And really during this whole crazy pandemic experience, having like two kids that close in age has been incredible. They are total BFFs. They play together all day long. So I know that the walkie talkies are gonna be a huge hit. They are gonna be totally amazed by these. I thought I would put, I'll like open it and put batteries in them and put one in each of their um, of their Easter baskets so that they can talk to each other. I'm a little bit worried about nighttime, about them not going to bed and just talking to each other on the walkie talkies, but honestly, worse things have happened. I, that doesn't really bother me that much. I originally was looking on Amazon for walkie talkies, but then when I stopped into Target, I found these for $10 for the pair. That was an excellent price point for such an entertaining gift, so I grabbed it at Target. All right, you guys, every Easter, we like to do one sort of bigger thing. Um, usually it's for both the boys. Last year, I think we got each of them something separate, but this year I really was looking for something that could be fun, like a game. Um, and I found this at Meyer, and it blew my mind and I had to get it. I paid $30 for this. It is a giant bowling set and it comes with two bowling balls and these huge pins. And I thought, oh my gosh, my kids are gonna love this, especially in a time where even though bowling alleys are like open around me, I'm pretty sure, um, we're just like not going out there quite yet. Um, so this is gonna be so fun. We have the perfect spot for it outside. We have the perfect hallway inside for it. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to bowl with those kids. So growing up, we never got these like huge gifts or anything for Easter, um, but I'm finding that the pandemic has made me want to make all of our holidays like extra special and memorable for the boys. So I just went for it. I spent a little bit more than I have in years previous, uh, but most of the stuff was really cheap. Guys, my kids just want to eat candy and candy is very inexpensive. So if you're super worried about spending a ton of money for Easter, don't do it. Just give them candy. It makes all kids happy, I promise. All right, and that is my entire sort of Easter haul slash things I'm giving to the kids and activities we're gonna do. Um, I always, always, always post an Easter vlog. It is one that we always look back on every year and my kids love watching themselves when they were little, especially they'll be like, I remember that. I remember that egg that I made that year when I was two and I'll be like, yeah, I'm sure you remember it sure you do but it's really funny to look back and watch them so you can definitely look forward to an Easter vlog this year yet again um, and yeah so make sure you like and subscribe and share and all of the great things that help me grow I really appreciate all the support I've gotten so far so thank you and I'll see you guys in my next one